Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So, in the last video, I left you guys off saying that I would finish off the house, build a sugarcane farm, and get some cows going. I think I did the sugarcane farm. I mean, <laughs> it's quite big. And it definitely gets me enough sugar. Oh yeah, I've updated to the new update. So we're ready for the trials. I've got our cows. And let me show you the house. So I bought the little greenhouse. Nice roof. Over here. Wait. Here the storage room. I've changed. Still need to just texture the roofs a little bit and that. But as you see. And the walls. But as you see I've done that. So this is going to be like a little bit of the outdoor area. Maybe a balcony type thing then. Yeah. That's for another time, because now we're going to be able to craft an enchantment table. So if we head upstairs real quick to the attic, we can see we've got level 30 enchantment table. I've kind of just done a design like this with the colorful window. And that so now we can start like actually getting stuff done and i'm quite excited by this fortune but unfortunately we don't have like many levels because if we build a portal we can go to the nether and mine nether quartz or just quartz i guess to get stuff and xp oh wow huh so we've got a Basalt Delta, not bad. Lots of quartz. Are we? I've got a feeling we're on a high up somewhere, which isn't great. Yeah, it seems like we're high up. Yeah, so I'm gonna mine up a whole bunch of quartz and get some blocks or get XP ready so we can start a charting. Let's go. So, after quite a bit of quartz mining, I, I actually ran out of inventory, so I started just chucking the quartz. I managed to get quite a few levels. So, let's go see what we can get. So, let's see what enchantments we can get. I've got quite a few levels, so hopefully we can get something good. <laughs> I am very confident with this now that we're going to be able to go and take down the child dungeon. So this was what I was trying to do with this one, but he only gave me that. So finally, I've got one. Oh, for good. Cartographers. Ah, I haven't even explained. Ah. So the child spawn is you can either go run around and look for them or using a cartographer you can buy a map from them. I'm actually curious now. Are these the exact same? Yep. Okay. So let me head over and see what's going on. And of course I get to the spot and find it's underwater. And I don't think these things are close to the surface, so I've got a bit of the getting ahead of me. But hey, at least whenever I want to visit it and reuse it, I can. So, guess let me get digging. I just mined into one and then a spawner just suddenly started and I'm flooding this area and I ain't going well. Is that the new... Oh my goodness, it is. They poison you? Fight each other. This is the coolest one so far. Ooh. So this one's completed and my inventory is already full. So many new blocks. Okay, that's completed. So oh, that's a key. Oh, I just got one. Nice. More down there, but let's see. Bye. Ooh, honey, axe, is that it? Okay. 
Do I have any wood on me? No. Let me quickly go up and get some wood. So, I've managed to dig myself through the holes. And I've gotten down to a lower section. It seems to be two trowels here. Two trowel chambers, I can't remember what they're called. Um, but then, up here seems to be a bit more small. Oh, damn. Let me deal with this one first, then I'll head up. Here we go. Huh? This one's seriously not dropping anything. Okay, nice. Nothing. Okay. Let's hope not the whole trial chamber is just those skeletons. Oh, that's a breeze. And that's more skeletons. So right now I accidentally am drinking a bottle of bad omen. <laughs> and it calls the bad omen trial. So let's see how past me managed this far. I have done something seriously bad. What is going on? I accidentally drank a bottle of bad omen and I got trial omen. Great. How do I? So past me forgot to explain what I was doing. Right now during the Omnis trial, I'm trying to find Omnis vault keys. So if you don't know how it works, is the spawners will spawn a certain amount of mobs, you kill all of them and you get a reward. And there's a chance to get this key, multiple keys, the vault key which I have and an ominous fault key and why I'm doing that is because there's a chance when opening an ominous fault to get a hammer core and these weapons are OP they can kill basically the warden in one shot so I'm hoping through some luck I'm going to be able to get one so with my 30 minutes I'm uh, just running through the trial, trying to get as much as possible. And in this room in particular, as you can see, the there's water happening and that, and that's because of the breeze. The mob will actually hit a redstone component and turn it on, activate it more. So then these trial chambers reset every 30 minutes it's still the same thing but the spawn is reset shall i say so between 30 minutes you can run each trial and in the future i would love to automate this into like some kind of farm so be on the lookout for that
So after all of that guys, I'm back up at the surface now and look at my loot, quite a good haul, my armor isn't looking too good, but my loot, that's quite a lot of emeralds, these I got before but still, they're going to be coming in handy, I'm excited to see the new trims, so Let's head over back to base and get everything unloaded. Okay guys, welcome back. So I brought all the loot over. As you can see, there's the little dock coming a little bit embarrassed about. And apparently I when I was recording, it was recording the calculator in the background. So <laughs> but what I've done, just let me show you. I've added this chimney which connects to our kitchen over here using some of the tough blocks and it looks like a proper kitchen then i've just organized the storage room added some miscellaneous and everything else this is a nether quartz whatever so we are running quite a lot basically this. enjoy the time lapse of me going a village killing a whole there. bunch of mobs. Remember there was one down there, but I think it's too far. So what I'm thinking is we put a boat, quote unquote boat, like build one in the middle, like a Viking ship where you put our villages. So let's go get all the resources. So we came back. And I don't think I showed... No, I did So I managed to connect here to the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I built a <laughs> two by two tunnel to the ocean. Just so we could transport boats. Not very efficient. As you can see, we've got a little chimney out of tough st smooth stone bricks, I think. For the... Why we needed the chimney was the kitchen which i've been doing a tiny bit of work as you can see so we've got like the extractor fan going out the counters the three furnaces storage tiny little like pantry so yeah and then the chimney going up but a lot of my tools are about to break because I don't have mending and even I'm breaking a few of them do but I'm worried so what I was thinking is there's that village over there maybe I go and set up a villager breeder so that there's always baby villagers ready for projects so let's get going change of plans so Instead of building it over there by the village, because it's quite a far way to keep on going to try and get the villagers. What I'm thinking is I build the villager breeder over here, somewhere here, maybe like there where that one sheep is. Then what I can do is I can build a structure around it to hide it in a sense. So let me get the building ready, then we can start transporting the annoying villagers. So I look away from my house for a couple of minutes while I'm building that, and half of it's burnt down. I think there was a thunderstorm that struck the house, and 
for some reason it didn't go out so i'm gonna leave it like this for a little while because i don't want my house catching the lights ever again it's annoying that it happens but there's ways to prevent it so by building a little like tower thing adding a lightning rod hopefully shouldn't strike that and should strike this but you never know but yeah so i'm busy with this actually it's finished just the villages but i'll show you the concept so you have your farmer villager up there with a whole bunch of carrots and other sorts of things then your two villagers there which are the ones being bred so the farmer villager chucks like carrots or because that's what i'm using at them they chuck it to each other because they're close together open bed baby appears baby drops we do not want it turning into an iron farm so let's see if i can just light it up a bit that is really annoying it looks like a ruined house now <gasps> yeah let's get the three villages of here then i'll show you how i get them in okay so let me run you through so i brought the villages from over there both them here put them on a minecart rail and i brought them here and i've only brought two for now because they can breed and make a new baby which will be our farmer just it's a pain because whenever they chuck each other food they keep on dropping it go on then what's nice about this is i should be able <laughs> yeah that's the problem should be able to just ah uh oops how did i do it again does it have to be in huh i can't remember let me just get rid of these guys before they kill my villagers <laughs> not enough food oops there we go and what's nice is i get a bottle of bad omen and not just bad omen so let me play around and try and figure out how you get them out unless it's something like that and you just that works <laughs> if i can get it back on then to make it safe i could need a solid block here power rail there some glass just so like let's say i push one in it grabs the villager then i can power up if i had anything to power okay let me let this guy grow up to become a farmer so what i'm thinking is over here is where the villagers pop up i'm gonna redesign this because i want to have a silo kind of running along here so i'm thinking a five by five five kind of how far is this one two three four one two three four 
yeah kind of a silo like that with a base then bricks going up then i'll have a button somewhere connected to a dispenser dispensing mine carts they'll go along pick up a baby and go so let's see if i just build the general structure uh gonna be there one two one two three four five then i'm not sure exactly which side i want the villager to pop out what i could do is kind of have them shoot out or i make like a little exit like where corn would go or the maze mm. let me run around try and get a general design for it because this thing i'm gonna put a hopper at the bottom because when the stuff drops i want to collect it as well so i'll have a way into here and this is just going to be connected oh i forgot how am i going to do this so then the next block's here so i can build it around build it a little higher on top and then make like a little building that intersects this okay now that i've got a design let me grab some resources unfortunately my recording the record was annoying but let me show you so i've got the railway going from the ocean here where i brought the villages to then i boat it or mine carted them up there first then they had the baby then i got him put him up there and now we gotta decorate it so what i'm thinking is kind of a silo then building a factory kind of looking building can make it look a bit run down then when inside i'll make a roof and add some like machinery can have it so when you press a button a villager will pop out and this can be like just flat but the villager will go around in a long loop in the villa and it will like land up somewhere like here so for the silo it's going to be made out of bricks with a copper roof probably or some other then i'm thinking of a mix of tough and deep slate let me grab all the resources and start building busy gathering some resources my shovel broke <laughs> trying to dig this area out so that's problem so i don't have an enchanted shovel but as you can see i've managed to build quite high with the silo and it's working we've got four villages down here a mason to trade bricks for the silo a mending villager with a whole bunch of stuff and then two regulars so what i was thinking is how i'm gonna get this to work is kind of like this so if i just trap this guy for a quick second oops i yep all the prices just went up great move you no yes okay mine caught this oh i forgot to me put the bow in but let's say it's the dispenser dispensers goes i just need to add a little way for the water to push them that side without the baby being able to escape 
So maybe I do what I did over here. So now they can be pushed into there, the children. Then minecarts will go along and I'll probably have it come back up like there and it'll go around a bit. So uh well no did not work as I wanted to but now you get the concept so if I can somehow push this guy back in like there come on uh there we go push him all the way up get rid of this now I just need to push him in love glass some weight stink but I can buy it now Get down. He's trying to get to the beds. No. It's fine. He can be sacrificed. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. So, hopefully now, baby, if he was in there, he would be pushed across. Then the minecart would bring them around like that. And one day in the minecart, I can just use a station to trade with him. So yeah, I'm going to end it here. In between episodes, I'll get mending on everything. Enchant my tools properly like this and hopefully we can get some of the resources for next episode and i'll see you guys later bye bye <laughs>